Photoshop's lasso tool and polygon lasso tool, and I say it that way to be safe, are very helpful for free form selections for the lasso tool and straight line or connected line angular selections for the polygon lasso tool. With the lasso tool, I'm going to click it just once and show a really cool feature of Photoshop. I like this shot and I like the angle. However, this little tree in the corner is distracting my attention from the building. So I'm going to use the lasso tool to just make a nice big freeform selection. And if I zoom out a little bit, you'll notice that when I started the selection, I started and went all the way out into the gray, and I'll click away and do it one more time. With the lasso tool, I click and drag, and I completely go outside the edge of the photo in this dark gray area and finish in a circular motion where I started. If you don't finish in a circular motion, Photoshop may decide how and where to close that for you. So it's safer to always start back where you began. And I will choose Edit, Fill, and leave it on the default Content Aware, and click OK. And if I click once anywhere outside the marching ants, Photoshop has magically removed that offending tree that was distracting my eye. Let's give it another shot. I could try it on this bank sign. I started at the edge of the photo, go all the way around, and finish back where I started. Edit, Fill, Content Aware, click OK. It's amazing. That used to take so much longer to do when I was working with the Clone Stamp tool in the days before Content Aware Fill was available. So to get rid of distracting objects in the corners of your photos, that's a beautiful way to do it. But I think I kind of like the bank sign there, so I'll choose Edit Step Backward twice to undo more than once and leave that in the shot. Now, the Polygon Lasso tool is an excellent way to make selections that are angular or made up of lines or polygons. So with the Polygon Lasso tool, I'm going to click once right at the edge where the building and the sky meet. I let go and my mouse plays Connect the Dot. So if I come to where this little part of the building changes and click once again, I can now go up that part of the building. I'm just clicking once at each corner, and I should zoom in so I don't strain my eyes when doing this. But I think it's doing a really decent job. The difficulty I'll have on the right side is the windows are giving it some texture, picking up some sky in the background. So I'm not going to worry about being perfect there. I'll just go to the corner. I may go halfway down, and then the next half down. So I clicked once, roughly in the middle of that, clicked again. And this tool can be really dangerous if you don't know you need to close your shape. There are two ways to close the shape. I could just double click, and it closes it. Or if I undo, I lose everything. But I'll show you building another selection. You could just look for the point where you started, and you'll see the Polygon Lasso Tool icon come up, and you'll close it again. But let's work with this, and then I'll show you the other way to close it. So a double click is a nice way, if you get trapped on the tool, to just quickly close it if you can't find the point where you started. I use the double click close trick quite often. I'll choose Edit Copy. And I'm not going to bother to name the file. I just want to show you how I could rip this building out, do File New, and Photoshop knows what size I copied. I'll click OK, Edit Paste, and actually, this is isolated on its own layer. So if I hit the I next to Background, I could drop the Transamerica building in San Francisco into all kinds of interesting places. And I'll let this go for now since I'm just showing you these tools for the first time. I'm not actually going to save this file. I'll close it and I'll hit Don't Save or No. And 
Since I've already used this selection, I'll safely deselect. But deselecting on the Polygon Lasso tool does actually start another area. That's when the double click trick is handy. So when using this tool, it may be far safer to choose Select, Deselect. And I'm going to zoom in and just imagine I want the top portion. This, what looks like a ramp at the top of the Transamerica building. I could do interesting things by angling it at different sides. I will click once at the edge, and I'm clicking at each corner. And if I get back to the point where I started, you'll see the circle indicating you're closing the shape or completing the path. And there are your marching ants. So I'm going to choose Select, Deselect, and View, Fit on Screen. And I'll go back to my lasso tool, which is the free form. I can draw any shape I'd like to pull anything out of here. And select, deselect, or I could free form select again and just click once on the outside to deselect. So on this image, see if you can remove that offending tree and see if you can make a selection of the Transamerica building and copy and paste it into your own document so it has no background.